So, uh, okay. Okay, so to, to create a layout, you actually have to go into something called the page layout, or the client organizer, sorry. I can bring up your start menu here. Programs, meal rip, client oh. organizer. Okay, so uh, looks very similar to your page layout function here. Uh, but what we're going to do is create one um, using the settings that we need so you can use it over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to new layout template. Now, uh, before we go into it, if you had maybe a custom jig or a custom button that you wanted to use, name it here. Designate the values for the height and width. And you hit the, this add button, add it to this list down here, hit the check mark, and it'll show up in your composites area over here. This is your creating your custom one, but we're going to be working off the three, the, the uh, standard Neoflex buttons, so we don't need to create another one. What I'm say is go new layout template, start with a default setting. Uh, these all stay defaulted. Uh, is this the correct printer? USB 2? Okay. Um, and your registration or your feed value, do you know what's, what it was? Well, uh, th this is what we determined worked well for your adjustment, your alignment. Okay, great. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so this stays the same. Your margins are always the same here. Uh, same thing here, your sit, the ink set is always the same. This is where you actually start to choose, okay, which which profiles am I going to start using? So let's start, let's set this one up for, do uh, you, you have the high res currently, correct? Okay, so uh, we'll keep the white, this is for a white background setting. So notice just, you know, follow the uh, directions here. So what we're doing is setting it for a white background, and which is fine with this. Now, the black background, this is where we want to change it. Uh, high production, we'll use the HOP. Uh, that seems to work a little better. Um, and these two you can't use with this layout because the white layer resolution does not match up. So the color and the dark color is 1440 by 1440, and the high, or the high production is a 1440 by 720, so it doesn't match up. You can do white shirts, however, in a 720 by 720 because the color layers are the same. And um, you'll see that come up here. Uh, we'll go past this. These are just adjustments to your colors. So we can just go through those. Now, this is asking you, okay, for your color layer, what resolution do you want to print at? And high production is a 720 by 720. Uh, Bi-direction variable 2 all seem okay. Or actually, this was done in a variable 1 dot size. Um, next, it's asking, okay, what resolution is your white? This high production is a 1440 by 720, variable one dot size. Go next, and we have uh, these settings, which you can just leave as default. And this is where it comes into, okay, you can set, you know, your your under base. You want to leave all of these at 100%. All of these, and if you, I would, t I tend to leave the highlight on, and have the uh, fuzziness at 15 seems to always work pretty good. And then uh, these don't matter because your color background, you're not going to use with this flattened layout. Same thing as your dark color background. This is only for white shirts and uh, your high production black shirts. Okay. Do you want to import flattened settings? Yes, because we're not using a new one. And we're going to use the three adult Neoflex. It's going to open up. Now you have a high production setting here with three templates. And we're going to save this now. And we're going to save for distribution, and we're going to name it um, High Production 3-Up. Okay. This is black and white shirts. So uh, how about you name it yourself instead of me naming it so you know exactly. Okay, that was five. Okay. 
we'll save this. Now we can exit this here. Should be available. I can bring this up with that. Okay, your rib is here. So if we go up to layout, open page layout, open layout template. Now it's available here. And now you get printing in a high res or a high production. And I find that it works better with some images than others. So um, you might want to you know keep like a rag shit around and do like a small test print. Yeah, just do it, like do a small test print. So if it if it works for like one image, like the this cheeseburger I printed at the show, it turns out almost exactly the same as the high res. And uh, like Justin was saying, it works well with certain photographs because um, most photographs have a lot of back background space, which is not so light usually, most darker. So it works very well with photographs, uh, things like that. So. Uh, there's advantages to using it because it's faster, but you can find certain images will work much better. Uh, it just makes sure that it's pulling everything from the correct places. Uh, so, it, like, uh, say for example, let me exit out of that. Minimize this. Say for example, I was setting up an environment and I went to save. Now, there's the save for distribution. If I set it up and um, I didn't click the save for distribution, since it's not looking for everything or putting everything where it's supposed to be, or everything in the correct spot, if I went to uh, set up a template in my uh, plan organizer, that profile would not show up in that list there. Yeah. So saving for distribution makes sure that everything, well, Everything is set in place, and also it looks for certain things in certain places where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. oh, well, the, the high production is mainly for the black. The white is still a 720 by 720. It's it's near normal. Sure. Um, we are going to be releasing a high res white as well. Uh, keep your eyes posted for that. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff, but uh, currently or Kind of, kind of strapped for time. So whenever I can get to them, uh, I'll start releasing them. I'll let you know too. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. So um, if you want, you can try setting up one yourself, maybe with a uh, you know a custom platen. Uh, you can make your own platen, two cutting boards, and a spacer and some rubber tubing. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Well, John, uh, I got to get back to what I was previously doing, but it was a pleasure uh, speaking with you again, and uh, good luck with everything. And not a problem. Have a great day.